ending in both darkness and light. I thought I'd be afraid of living in a small house in the middle of a forest. Thought I'd be afraid of copperheads that sometimes cross the path to our car, or ice storms that followed winter rains and lasted for days, downing trees and electrical poles, rendering our house so cold we had to wear our winter coats and hats indoors. I thought I'd fear those late spring winds so fierce they yanked off roofs, demolished barns, and once the firehouse, another time our hospital. I was afraid of those, their suddenness and lightning storms. Of bears I wasn't scared, I'd never seen a bear. A raccoon ripped through a window screen and ransacked everything. It took me weeks to clean its feces from the furniture and floors. It could have rabies, we were warned, and stay away from possums and coyotes. The only possums I had known were dead ones on the road. In all the years I lived there, I never saw coyotes but heard one through the dark the night before my husband left. It wailed till dawn.